Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily inspiration card reading. If you would like a personal reading with me or you want to check out courses, my writings, lives that I'm doing, check out the description box below. If you're watching this on a television, obviously YouTube started out on a computer, okay? Like it's, it's online there. So you will have to pick up your phone or device to look at the description box. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ugh. I'm not going to sit here and list all the stuff out in the video because you're watching on TV. All right. Solutions, Archangel Zadkiel. Zadkiel is all about transmutation. So this is like the temperance card, basically. So this is uh, being balanced between energies, weighing all options. Yes, being patient. Um, but Zadkiel is, is sort of coming through here insane. In order to get to that place, though, I, I'm even hearing like the things that you've been fearing, it's an illusion. It's an illusion. And yes, people could invoke some story saying, if you do that, I'm going to do this and always be safe, of course. But I'm thinking more in like terms of a job. If you are looking for a job and they're like, if you don't submit a cover letter, then you're not, we're not going to consider you. I'm sorry. It's just my opinion, but cover letters are so outdated. <laughs> we have resume templates where there's a whole thing at the top giving that whole rundown. We really want to watch the the hoop jumping, right? That's more about a power struggle and a control thing than getting more information. So just a heads up on that. But this is that sort of thing of, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to weigh out what the options are. I'm going to not give in to what people tell me I, I should have to do and all that. I'm going to transmute that kind of pressure energy. I'm going to transmute that into something that is more valuable for me. This is violet flame meditation kind of stuff to burn up whatever is not working for you in your energy field, okay? It says success that comes from objective compromise, self-control and patience, forgiving and healing energy. But this is for you too. So making sure you're a part of the compromise. That's why I was giving that example about going after a job and they're asking for one more ridiculous thing after one more ridiculous thing. You don't have to do it, okay? You don't have to do it. You're weighing all of your options and making sure that everything is fair and balanced for how you factor into it as well, not just giving into what others want. Now, again, let's talk about the patience part of that because the work that you would need to do around this is doing maybe a meditation with Archangel Zadkiel and, and seeing if you can transmute and bring your energy up. Yes, people think that they just do like a little happy dance and they're in a higher frequency. That sort of works like that, sort of. But guess what? You're going to have to keep doing that until you get to the real issue. Yes, and that's what Zadkiel teaches us to do, to look at things that are there, say, does this match with me anymore? No, I'm getting rid of it. I just recently did that with my apartment. I used to love my apartment, but now that I have people blocking my garage constantly, so I can't even go and live my life because they say, and then I'm going back to management and saying, hey, can you help me with this? And they're ignoring me. And now I'm just sort of like, okay, I see what's going on here. Does this place serve me anymore? No. Do I like being under the control of, quite frankly, an immature management team? No, I don't. I don't like 20 somethings telling me or deciding whether I get help or not with obnoxious things that are going on around the complex. I don't like that anymore. Is it time for a house? It's been time for a house. But I've been hanging on to this apartment because I was afraid to be away from people, right? Um, I was afraid that I'd actually have to mow my own lawn. I know that sounds stupid, but always rented so like I'd have to I'd have to go buy a lawnmower and do it I know homeowners are gonna be like Michelle you're ridiculous it's so easy I know I know but still there's all this idea of here I'm alone but in a house I'd be extra alone so that is something that is has recently been a realization for me that in order for me to get to my solution I have to let that go I have to see where one of those cups is getting overfilled and the other one's not you know what I'm saying? Getting filled at all. So that is something that I would have to transmute to let that energy go, to release any attachment to this home so that I can get on to my next home. You feel me? All right. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.